Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create a custom window in ARCHICAD. So in order to do that, first of all, I'm going to draw out the wall. I'm going to select my wall tool and I'm just going to draw here a 10 meter wall. It doesn't really matter. Next, uh, in order to create a custom window, you're going to have to um, 3D model it using your columns, beams, slabs, walls in ARCHICAD, so any 3D object, even more, whatever you're most, more comfortable with working in this case. So I'm just going to use my slab tool. Once I have my slab created, I'm just going to draw out the shape that I want my window to have. So let's say something really weird like this. I'm going to have it here and now I'm going to use my line tool. And I'm going to use the magic wand. I'm going to hold the space bar down. Click. I'm going to select the lines that I just created. And I'm going to offset them. Once by one centimeter. I'm going to create another one. And I'm going to offset this one by 5 centimeters. Then I'm gonna select, I'm gonna uh, use my little, I don't know how this is called, I'm just holding the uh, alt button down and I'm gonna click to select the properties of this slab that you see highlighted and I'm gonna click on this outside edge that we just drew and as you can see a slab is created and in order to take away the middle part of it I'm gonna click on this this is gonna be the outside frame and then I'm gonna do the same thing again I'm gonna click on this as you can see we have this part created and then I'm gonna click on the inner shape and now I have three individual slabs, one, two, and three. I'm gonna go see them in 3D view. And as you can see, here they are. I'm gonna select these two, the outer ones, and I'm gonna make them thicker. So at the top part, now, first of all, let's change the, the texture of the middle one. I want this to be made out of glass. So I'm gonna click on all of these. I'm gonna link the textures and I'm gonna select the glass. As you can see, now it's made out of glass. Oops. Now I'm gonna select this one and this one. And I'm gonna make sure these are made out of wood. You can just choose whatever material you would like your your maybe this one works better your window to be so now I'm gonna make this outer one thicker so let's say I'm gonna add two centimeters on each side 0 0.04 then and then minus 0 0.02 now it has a nice thickness and to this inner one I'm gonna add one centimeter on each side so 0 0.01 minus 0 0.01 so it's starting to look maybe like a window with a frame as you can see I'm gonna select all of them and make sure that the lines are black because it's really annoying to have them blue. Okay, now maybe you can see better. Okay, so once we have that, normally you would just select them, file, libraries and object, select Select, uh, save selection as window. New window 1, click save. 
here you can change the surfaces and the lines and everything else you're gonna click OK now you have your window created if we go to our window tool we can just click here and place the window if you want the reveal to be smaller or bigger you can just click that you can just enter here a different value so if we go in our 3D view to see everything this is how it looks which is kind of weird this is not how we want it to look as you can see the wall hole is just a rectangular shape not the shape of the window in order to have that be corrected we're gonna go back in our 2D view and I am going to select uh, maybe uh, select the properties of the inner slab and I'm gonna once again magic wand, use the magic wand and create a new slab I'm gonna pull it out to the side a little bit so you can see which one I'm talking about so we created a new one and we put, pulled it out to the side for a moment while we change its properties we're gonna select it go to the settings of it and under tags and categories under ID you're gonna write here wall wall hole you're gonna click OK and now we're gonna put it back in its place this is going to be the shape of the wall hole now we're gonna select everything again and we're gonna do the same thing that we did before file libraries and objects, save selection as window now this one is going to be new window too I'm going to click on save I'm going to click OK that is pretty much it and now let's go in our 3D view we can move this a little bit to the side I move the copy but that's not a problem because I want to see the comparison and here we're going to select the other window the new window 2 that we created before as you can see this way it looks like it should so this is how you create a custom window obviously you could I don't know maybe do another element here so that one of the holes of the window you can open and so on but in this video I just wanted to demonstrate real quickly how you can do this okay I hope this helps bye